This is a bittersweet moment because this is the last carded Waterworld figure that I own. This is the Powerboat Mariner with shooting combat bow and mutant moray eel. You know what? I love those monochromatic, translucent, uh, little rubbery figures from this toy line. You've seen me open that and that and that and that and that and you're going to see me open this. I don't own Nord or Hydro Stinger Mariner, so I need to find those, open those for Vintage Toy Freedom. And I also need to open the uh, Trimoran, if that's how you say it, because that's super cool too. And then I'll have a, a full collection of the Waterworld line. You can see there's a dude back there. There's a guy right there. There's some dudes up there. Um, I don't know where the other guys are. They're around here somewhere. Anywho. This is a cool toy line made by Kenner. They're owned by Tonka, which was a sub of Hasbro at this time. And Waterworld, as Jim Carrey says in... Uh, the movie Cable Guy, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. World. Um, I just saw it recently, last year, 2017. But I really, really dug it. So, uh, here we have Kevin Costner. That's a pretty good likeness of him. He's got the earring. His head doesn't turn. So, not a lot of articulation. Got the knife back here, so... Um, here we have his power bow. So we're going to place the bow and figure's left hand as shown. I guess the eyelet kind of goes in on the inside. Is that... Oh, maybe I'm doing that wrong. Yeah, see, this is kind of wonky because... Uh, he's also got a gun, so if you're just not digging the power bow, he can just have this weird, um, it's like a, a rifle with a bone attached on the end for some reason. I don't know, so he can, he can rock that and shoot some dudes in the face. Anywho. So yeah, so this is a bit wonky. Get some of these missiles out here. They should have given him, given him. They should have given him a, a quiver. You know that would have been kind of cool to store this back there. But anyway, insert arrow through hole in bow and place rear string into groove and arrow. So like so, hold bow with one hand, pull arrow back and release to fire. So here we go. See, it's kind of when you have to hold a bunch of things and, you know, it shoots decent, but it doesn't really fit in his hand well. And I don't know, it's just, again, it's, it's kind of wonky. Yeah, not, not really digging the, the power bow. Uh, you know, where do we store these arrows? I don't know. I'm going to have him hold this shotgun here. So that's a little bit more. Manageable than this bow. Well, I'm having a little bit of trouble here. Did you, I wonder if Kenner did uh, some good R and D on this because it's he doesn't hold this very well. Like I really want this. It has a shoulder support there with the bone. I guess this is a kind of a femur, maybe I don't know. Anywho. because every every position in which he holds it it's pointed at an odd angle so not really oh well anyway but the cream of the crop for this toy line is right here this dude right here this orange what is it called mutant moray eel so uh these are pretty cool i like all these little little fishy guys and 
yeah, if you haven't seen Waterworld, check it out. There's a, a trading card line. There's a Super Nintendo game that was only released in Europe. You can find that on eBay for about twenty five dollars. I, I do not own that yet. Uh, nor do I own the boat or the two figures, but I hope to acquire those soon and open those up for you so you can see the full Waterworld uh, Kenner toy line opened here right before your very eyes only from Vintage Toy Freedom.